Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, We're the Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. And I'm Dustin. And this is our non-spoiler review for Elemental. Elemental is directed by Peter Song. In a city where fire, water, land, and air residents live together, a fiery young woman and a go-with-the-flow guy discover something elemental, how much they actually have in common. So we've just seen Elemental, and if you guys have been on this channel for a while, you know that we are big fans of Pixar. So whenever a Pixar, or like a Walt Disney animated, or any animated film, honestly, mm -hmm. uh, come up, we get pretty excited for it just because we do love stories being told through that format. And with Pixar, they have been known to have stories that will tug very, very hard um, at the heartstring. And this one... I was particularly interested because it is inspired by Peter Song's own story where, um, you know, his parents uh, came to the United States as immigrants and opened their own convenience store and kind of started from the ground up. Uh, and so I wanted to see how that story was told uh, through this film and also adding in the elements if you will ah. i like i wasn't trying to do a pun but it just came out honestly i think there's going to be a couple of those throughout this um review because there's going to be a lot of things that kind of have that pun with elements and fire and hot and spicy and that kind of flow with a review like this mm. but i have to admit this is pretty much you know the american story you know a, an immigrant an american dream story an american yeah. dream story immigrants come to a um a new place in a new town and it's it I really liked how this story was really focused on like the characters and it was really much a rom-com and it just seemed super cute super fun and of course yeah since it's Pixar we knew at some point in this film we were going to be crying but also uh -huh. when you go see this movie there is also a cute um, Pixar short at the beginning of it that I think also kind of tugged on the heartstrings as well. Yeah, it actually got me a little teary. We won't tell you what it's... We'll tell you. Should we tell them? Like, no, I think it's be okay. surprised. It's a non-spoiler review, so if you read it from somewhere else, at least the spoiler didn't come from us. But, you know, in classic Pixar fe feature film pa uh, fashion, they always do put a short film in front of their feature-length film, so there is definitely one um, there, so... Um, you know, when you see it, don't be alarmed. Like, what is this? This is not the movie I paid for. It is. Just sit tight. You have to sit through this, you know, um, short film. It's a great story. You have fun with it. And uh, we'll talk about it, you know, maybe in the future, on, like on a live stream or another bonus video or something like that. But let's talk about Elemental. So at first, it does present itself as, like in the trailer, it kind of presents itself as a rom-com yes but in the actual story the way they built it it was actually sort of like you know the immigration story where um ember the fire elemental how her parents came to be in elemental city and why they started their own convenience store and fast forward to you know now that she's grown they've been living in the city for a while i've been running the store her goal is to take over the shop from her dad like that was a through line in the movie where she's asking like do you think i'm ready now do you think i'm ready now um but she's in fire elemental so she's a bit fiery and a lot of the times her temper gets in the way and then her dad's like i don't know if you're ready you got to keep that temper in check mm -hmm. and that's something that this movie did really well was actually the relationship between ember and her father yes. ember and her mother and i just loved that this we got a lot of development from this family and from this point of view of the story it's not just this love story it really did focus on the relationship between a daughter and her father um i do feel like this is definitely the strongest relationship even more mm. a little bit more than wade and ember it's more yes. ember and her father they i think they spend actually more time on this development and Wade and Ember are kind of the secondary storyline, but that kind of changes around the mm, halfway through yeah, the second about. act. Mm. And then Wade and the dad kind of stay head to head with development. Yeah, so with the way uh, Wade comes into the picture, you know, he's of water elemental. So with, with that, uh, and we should kind of explain, it, and it's said in the trailer too, but they have, you know, the messaging is the elements don't mix. Um, 
specifically, they kind of made it more like fire doesn't really mix with the other elements because they have air, they have water, and they have earth, earth a.k.a. there's a lot of, like, arbor and uh, fire and dirt. doesn't really go well with any of those other elements. Yeah. And that was actually something that they did mention in the movie that I liked. Might be considered a little bit of a spoiler, but when you really look at it, um, I'll give you a few seconds if you want to zone out, is that they say, you know, the city wasn't really built with fire in mind. So it's how she's able to navigate in this environment and how mm -hmm. she is actually kind of stuck in this one area that she actually lives in. Yeah, so, um, so it's interesting how Wade kind of accidentally um, crosses paths with her and we'll let you discover how exactly that happens but as they cross paths you know their personalities definitely clash wade is this super like literally like water go with the flow kind of guy very uh emotional very emotional and they kind of like play for jokes a little bit because it's kind of like they they made it more over the top yeah I like think they played it up for comedic moments i feel like they made his emotional state kind of a running gag a little too much in it but it was kind of a part of his characteristics yeah. and i think it made it so he, you show that he was in touch with his emotions yes where ember was very much push him down she's just like ah, angry <laughs> uh and so as you know their i guess like unlikely friendship develops um they're finding that there is something that is happening within Elemental City that if they don't get on it and if it, it doesn't get resolved, it's going to put certain areas of Elemental City in great danger, like lives could be lost. Um, so they go on a huge adventure as to like how they can do this. And along the way, it's a lot of self-discovery, like, but you can do this. You 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 don't have to just do this because your parents tell you to. And that's, you know, so we kind of explore that a little bit and how... Why would you let they anyone tried. tell you what to do with you? What, what what you should do? Right. A lot of those kind of lessons. And, and you I'll, hear those, those lines in the trailer as well. Yes. And I'll say this. As much as I really like the messaging of, like, you can be whoever you want. You can explore whatever you want. Why should anyone tell you who you should be or how you should be you? And, and all of this. I feel like at times they focused on they try to focus on too many things, right? So we have like the um, the, the the Ember and Dad story, essentially it's kind of like the American Dream story. Then we have the rom-com side of things. And then we have the, oh no, well, the city is in danger story and trying to figure all of that out. And I feel like there's only, you know, in a movie that's under two hours, there's only so much time you can dedicate to everything. So I feel like at the end, they really had to... I feel like as strong as the rom-com was, at the end, the other stuff kind of won out. And that is what... And the other stuff, which is the, 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 the immigration story, is what really... What I connected with the most. Yeah. Because we love a good rom-com in this household, but it's also like... How many different ways can you do rom-com, really? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a formula at this point. Right, so it's very cute. It'll put a smile on your face, and there's parts of the rom-com part of the story that's going to make you, like, feel some feelings for sure. But for anybody out there who, you know, has, like, grown up, you know, child of the immigrant, um, the sacrifices that your parents made so that they can build this, like... New life. Really great life for you, give you all the chances that you couldn't have otherwise um they talk about a lot of that so i think if you're talking of immigrant i don't need to go further like you you already know so it's gonna this movie's gonna unlock that generational trauma and guilt that you will have as um oh you may have i'm not gonna say will because not everybody's experience is the same that you may have as a child of the immigrant because it got me and by the third act when they leaned real deep into all of that i was a mess and i was trying really hard to hold it in um and then there was one thing that one of the characters did and and i knew it was coming too because they had <laughs> foreshadowed it i was like this is gonna come full circle later because it's pixar and they always do this and they did it and 
oh god it broke me until like we were leaving and we were past the credits and i was still kind of sniffling so there was even a moment to where you know wendy was like kind of holding onto my arm we were kind of snuggling in the um theater and i started kind of hearing the not here i don't hear it i started feeling it oh, first sorry to where you're like, <laughs> oh, sorry. like you, you were holding trying to hold it back yeah. and yeah at the end when the yeah. credits roll that is when i looked over and she's like i'm oh and just it, I can see how much it really did affect because you. Because you push, you you learn to push it all in, and it's like this is my responsibility. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I don't want to get into it without like getting emotional and getting too carried away with like spoilers. But overall, the animation is is gorgeous because you yeah. get to see the different ways the elements interact and how the city works as an elemental city. And I thought that was cool, and I kind of wish we explored it even a little bit more. Honestly, yeah, I think there's some yeah. storylines that they could have taken away from. Yeah. There was this one, the one that Wade kind of shows where, where Ember actually like lets go of her emotions and is actually kind of like falling in love. Mm. I feel like the way they did that, they could, I didn't, they spent something time on this one thing mm. and this mm. one kind of moment that built up and I was kind of like, uh, we didn't need it. I don't feel like we needed it. No. We could have done it through a, um, a storyline of exploring the city. It felt like a throwaway by the end of it, it did. right? It I really was, did. But I was the whole for reason why up. they went there. Yeah, and I was like, oh, well, all right. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, anyways, that's kind of our overall thoughts uh, on the film. So we're going to go ahead and give our rating for Pixar's Elemental. If you're curious and if you're brand new and you ha don't know what our rating system is, we've listed. It's different. It's not like numbers or letters. So it's listed for you in the video description below. How would you rate this movie? Overall, I thought there were some really cute elements to this. I really liked the um, father-daughter story in this. Mm -hmm. I thought Wade and Ember were cute. They had a couple other storylines that went in different directions that I didn't really care about. I thought there were some things that were a little over the top and a little bit caricature, but there was still a lot of heart and a lot of fun with it. I'm going to give it a matinee it. I am going to give it the same rating, which is kind of rare for the Movie Couple channel. Oh, we, we don't usually... Usually like one off. Yeah, we usually one off each other, uh, but matinee it for me as well. It is a gorgeous film. The animation, the soundtrack, and everything is really, really cool. It's quite different than any other like Pixar animation style that you've seen before, so definitely worth seeing in theaters on the big screen. Um, I felt like the story... I think they just... the the uh, The intention was to have all of these stories and I just feel don't I don't feel like all of them landed there was certainly a big part of it where we spent you know a few minutes with it and and it just not well we spent more than a few minutes because they kept <laughs> on going back to it but it just didn't really the, the payoff wasn't really as great as I had hoped as it, it didn't really compare to the 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 buildup um Wade and Ember are so cute um and, and you'll be excited to see like where their journey goes but for me, what really connected me to the movie was the story with Ember, her dad, and her family, and their convenience store. So that is our rating. Before we go, they did um, at the premiere, um, what they were handing these out to everybody, and they gave us these like little sippers, um, like souvenir sippers that you see around Disney World, Disneyland. Um, they'll actually probably have these over at California Adventures if you were on the West Coast because that's where all the Pixar stuff is. But they gifted us, or everybody won, and we wanted to show it off um, because this review this review will go up before the sippers are available um, at the parks. So it's a Wade and Ember sipper. We don't usually buy sippers from the parks, but man, this one is really cute. So we have Ember on this side. Your drink goes in here. There's a little lanyard for your like you can wear it and it says like elemental i don't know if it's upside down but yeah even it says in, elemental. on the lanyard most of it is wade. wade either being either crying or wade giving a really big smile yeah and then on the other side we have wade right here super cute and there's a light up function too so it lights up like this and it does change colors as you can see, all the different colors. So this is right now purple-ish. Yeah, red. I think there's like green and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it goes, blue. So that's really cool. Anyways, available at the parks, I think probably week of the release of the movie, which is next week, I believe, so. 
just in case you guys are collectors of um, souvenir zippers, now you know what to look forward to when you go to the park. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.